If you're seeing this reading right now, this message was meant to find you. Joy, may you pursue what lights you up and may you shift and transform fluid. There's the energy of change coming through here for you. So you may be noticing certain things or triggers happening in your life that is causing you to make shifts. And if you're not actively pursuing changes, then these changes may be happening outside of your control. Yeah, I see you just being on the edge, like you're looking out, like you're waiting to make some kind of move here, but you're poised. There's something that is holding you back. Now, this may be that the timing just isn't right. Something is making you wait here. The moon, yes, absolutely, your intuition. Your intuition is on fire right now. So if you're feeling like it just isn't the right time for something or to start something new or to make this big change, then you're right. The moon can also show that things are hidden. So information that you're needing to make this change isn't revealed just yet. Okay, we've got so much water energy coming through here. Now with the Queen of Emotions and the Moon, we've got Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. So you may resonate with water sign energy, but this could also be that you're going through an exceptionally emotional time. Okay, I definitely see a lot of water, a lot of tears flowing. And so I feel like you're having some kind of emotional release or purging, but this is all part of a healing process for you. And it's as if you're needing to move towards this energy of joy and pleasure by releasing what you're needing to, releasing old emotional baggage and wounds. <laughs> so you could have this brand new beginning because this is what the world represents, a new karmic cycle. So you can be reassured that whatever you're going through that may feel quite intense on an emotional and spiritual level is all part of this process of purging the old to get ready for the new.